What is going on? Just when you thought I couldn't add any more colors to this project, well, I did. Anything blue in this lime green, I don't know if the camera's picking it up quite right, but it's actually a lime green, more like a really fluorescent green. But anything that color is new, like the hub, that's all new. The red and white is old. It was red, white, and black before, red, white, blue. Right in there, the bottom one, that bottom uh, pulley you see right there is actually just holding the rod, which is holding this in position. And then the top one is actually what's connecting it to this pulley. So right now the configuration is, it is easier to spin, but it has to spin almost two revolutions to make this spin once. Almost, because I think that's a 20 and this is a 36 tooth. So it has to make a, it has to spin pretty quick to make any power. But it is finally working after all the revisions. And this little tower you see right here is a brace. And then that's why I reprinted this whole unit and base because I angled this in a little bit more to hit the right angle or what I think will be the right angle. And this plate itself is a lot thicker. I'll show that more by just putting, like it's, it's pretty solid. I think it's over five mil thick, so. But yeah, right now I have in this configuration, I have a feeling I might have to swap them around so we get twice as many, or twice as much RPM on the motor rather than on the shaft. But that would require more torque, and I'm hoping if I go with the less torque, it might actually spin a lot faster and make the RPM up. So we'll see. I'm known to be wrong. I'm just going to do a quick test and see. Maybe I'll grab the RPM meter, but I just want to see. And then I'll throw it on with no load on it, so this way we can get a power reading, see what it looks like it, so when it's not slowed down. And then if that goes well and that actually works without having to switch it, I'm going to put a load on it, and this way we'll see how much it slows down. So you guys can see right here that everything is functioning properly, with the exception of a small leak on the hose, which you can see right here, and the problem with the water coming out the back of the housing with these three panels on it. They need to be removed. And it's really convenient because I actually didn't charge this little Dremel that I just picked up. It's just a little Harbor Freight Bauer, I think it's the brand. But I picked up one of these little cut-off rotary tools, and this didn't turn out to be my most beautiful cut, but it didn't get the job done, so I'll go through and smooth this out later as I'm probably going to have to take more of these little slits out. But this way, the water can now come straight out as it wants to, without interruption. We have the high precision watt meter and power analyzer, so now we can see the power. I do not have the other side hooked up, so there is no load right now. They are right here and one wire is hooked up, but it's not completing the circuit, so you... Okay, well, you can, just, you can just stay there. Good enough. But let's get the water turned on and see what it has for voltage. In this video here, you can see it is now hooked up and running. It's running about 7.5 volts, which is not great, considering this closes all the way on and there's no load. When I apply the load, as you see that it's connected now, there's not enough power to eliminate the screen. This takes about 7 volts. You can see it's blue, and it has that tint of blue. So it almost has enough power, but it's not quite there yet. So this configuration does need to be changed, as seen here. And in this configuration, this newest revision of all the parts, I made it everything can be adjusted, so if things will be swapped over, different pulleys will be incorporated in the future, and even a second motor is in the works for the next video. So I figured I'd just include this here, a nice little spaceship covering my license plate for your viewing entertainment. And now this is the test that I have for when everything is now connected in its different configuration, where it has the larger gear on the shaft of the belt assembly and the smaller pulley on the shaft of the motor. So now it will spin at almost twice as many RPMs as the shaft. It's a 20 tooth to 36 tooth, so just under 1 to 2. And with the power hooked up, it was just over about 24 volts, which is the limit. And with this connected, there's this loud chattering noise that occurs, and this is because of the tension on the belt. That rather annoying noise you just heard was the belt wobbling back and forth, and this is due to that tension. 
But once that gets adjusted, I'll push it on that little bit of coming up. And this way you can actually get a better power reading and won't have any more chatter to it. If you think about it, it actually sounds like an old airplane, but it's not really what you want to hear from your hydro power cell. When I push on the belt right here, you can see the wobble stops and the noise goes down. It's very hard to film with power analyzer, but it's getting 9 volts at 10 watts, and this is pretty consistent, and the power is actually turned down quite a bit for this little test. In the future, I will turn it up and see what kind of power rack numbers we can get. Right here is me just trying to film a little bit better. We'll get it towards that 14-volt uh, range. So now when I connect the load, just to see how much it's going to slow down. As you can see, I'm going through and just slowly turning up the pressure of the water. And this is just to see the output, how it changes. Right now it's at about 10.5 volts, and I think it was about 17 watts. It's still hard to read even through here. But finally, what we get up to is this number. I think I tried that one more time. But we're right around 12 watts and almost, or sorry, 12 volts of power and almost 20 watts. It's fluctuating right there. I think I turn it up just a little bit more right here. And this allows us to get that almost like, I'd say, the 0.1 more watts and get us right into that 20 watt power output. And this is a huge stepping stone because if you guys remember from previous videos and revisions, this project started out and it was making one watt of power. So it's gone up a huge amount and I still think there's plenty of room for improvement. So if you guys have any other comments, suggestions, and things you want to try because, well, this revision, while it's something I thought about doing, it happened because you guys commented and want to see it, which then made me want to produce and film this content for you. So this project seems to be working a little bit better, and I think even when I connect both these motors, it's still about 20 watts of power. So my next thought is, do I just put another motor on there and just add another pulley? Well, this is one of the things I've been thinking about. Is that something you'd want to see? Let me know. A lot of big things coming. And let me know how you guys like this voiceover. It's my first time trying to do it. I will see you guys in the next video.